Good morning, Marcus Conti, candidate for the United States Senate here in New York. I'm going to uh, do some headlines today. I feel like doing some headlines. I was reading, uh, I try to read the headlines. It's hard to find them, <laughs> right? What's a summation of what's going on in the world? It's so, um, it's so one-sided, you know? It's like, it's either you're on this side or you're on that side, like, I like to read True Pundit, and uh, I don't always agree with the the um, politic. I love the the corruption exposure, but uh, I don't always agree. Like, for example, I was you got to be honest, right, Thomas Paine? Like, I was reading a, a piece, and it said um, four Democratic socialists win election in um, in uh, Pittsburgh, right, Pennsylvania state senate right and then it has a, a picture of a russian flag <laughs> come on come on thomas that's bullshit those social democrats all they want is they want social programs in the democratic place that's all you know that come on thomas Paine. you know that shit gotta call that shit out but on on other stuff um uh you know and then there's the other side of it which is the fake news mueller and and uh the russia 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 and so, headlines were, um, Mueller admits, this is on uh, Giuliani's investigation, Mueller admits uh, that he can't indict Trump. Of course, he's the sitting president of the United States, can't be indicted by a subordinate worker uh, on, you know, unless it's high treason, unless it's the Senate and Congress, you know, whatever the law is, you can't, look, we've always known that the, that the, that the Mueller thing was a was a hoax. So that's but that's in the headlines, right? Is it news? Not really, not really. But it's in the headlines, right? The other other one. Uh, this is this is an interesting one. Uh, uh, Obama, ah, Obama, back in the news. What did Obama do? Really nothing. He he's uh, he's building a twelve story museum to himself in Chicago. On public property. So, Obama, the ex-president, he wants to build a museum, like a like a like a like a like a, a, a mausoleum to himself, and he's going to do it in Chicago. And he and he's because he's so you know important and above the law, he's going to take public property. That's what they're lobbying to do in Chicago: take public property and build a uh, a museum to. To, to build a museum to himself. So Chicago people or somebody there, the city uh, stopped it with a lawsuit and uh, get your own land. Do it on, build, your, build your fucking thing on your own land, Mr. Obama. You're not the president. What else? Why is Trump's favorite allies Israel and Saudi Arabia, the two most devastatingly, uh, you know, unhumanitarian nations in the world. God, right now in Gaza and in the West Bank, the Israeli people are, are pummeling the, the Palestinians, right? right? They have a right to be there. They've been there for 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 years, right? Now the Israelis uh, decide that that uh, the solution is to get rid of the, Isra the Palestinian people and they're, they're, uh, they, they don't have rights as citizens. And but where's, the, where's the liberal left in this? Where is the liberal left? Why do you guys... When 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 Israel Israel is allowed to exist in an apartheid fashion as they are, which is clear, that's what it is. If you guys you guys are fans of Nelson Mandela and, and you know Desmond Tutu, but where the fuck are you now? When 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 Israel is 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 doing that and worse than what uh, went on in South Africa in Israel to the Palestinian people, where are you? Silent. Right? It's Saudi Arabia. They're still chopping off women's heads for adultery, and women can't drive. And they, you know, where's the outrage? The, the the contradictions are fascinating, right? Trump, right? Why you're trying to make some wild concoction, wild connection to 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 Russia? Now, Russia's Russians. Russia, huge. Russia's like. One seventh of the world's land, and you know, seven times, six times, all. <laughs> like this, this Russia, but and then and then 
all Arabs, right? Same, same, same principle applies to Arabs. But what about there's Arabs in Africa, the Saudi Africa, Saudi, you know, Muslims, Saudi Arabs, Africans, Morocco, Egypt. Then there's the Middle East. Uh, what, what, you know, what Arabs? How do you? What I'm trying to say is, how do you muster support for Saudi Arabia, right? The the worst, um, one of the worst violators of human rights, you know, on the planet right now. And that's Trump's two favorite guys, Israel and 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 uh, Israel and Saudi Arabia. The left is silent. The the, the the radical right still thinks it has something to do with, uh, you know, if we hate Muslims, if we hate Arabs, the, the Muslim religion, you know. I guess I don't know, but uh, it is in the news, and Trump, on his own admission, says, you know, Israel and, and Saudi Arabia are with us on our decision to to uh, to pull out of the Iran nuclear deal. Left is silent. Right? Where are you? Justice Democrats and uh, and the uh, our revolution, right? Totally fucking silent on the Tim Canova thing. Now, that is probably the biggest leftist news ever, right? Tim Canova proved in a court of law that the Democratic Party broke federal election law by destroying paper ballots in 2016 in the election against Tim Canova and Debbie Wasserman Schultz, right? It's widely believed and obs and was observed that Kim Canova, in fact, won that election, right? Right? Exit polls, popular populists. We believe that Tim Canova actually won that. So, so the reality is that Tim Canova is actually the, the people's choice for Congress in Florida and not Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the cheater, the liar, and the, the corrupt one who should be in jail, right? But there's no where Justice Democrats. I'm going to keep hopping on this because I think you guys are got you still got your heads up your asses, and someone needs to tell you, right, that it's election fraud, right? They're going to cheat you at every turn of the screw, right? But you don't. You're not going to call it. You think like, oh, we're, we're above all that. You're above being cheated, and 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 when one of your own proves it in a court of law, you're silent. When when the DNC goes up, you know, and in, in, again in Florida with the with the DNC fraud lawsuit, says in open court that we're allowed to pick the candidate, and you're still running candidates in the Democratic primary. What what gives? You know, what gives? Why why are you why are you guys silent? This this Tim Canova thing should be huge news, and 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 the sheer testicles of of Tim. To, to not run in the Democratic primary. Say, fuck you, Democrats, and run independent against Wasserman Schultz and the Republican come November. is a noble lead. That's leadership. That's leadership. Right? But the liberal Democrats and the liberal Democratic, you know, media, all your young Turks and all that, silent. No, nothing. Silent. Trump. Russia. Uh. My name is Marcus Conti. Those are some of the headlines for today. And, uh, I'm a uh, candidate for the United States Senate here in New York, and um, as we approach the election, New York, New York Democratic primary, uh, Kirsten Gillibrand. I don't know if there's any Democratic. I should probably I should know something like that, but I don't know who the Democratic challenges are to Gillibrand. There's no chance in hell that that a Democrat is going to come along and and unseat the sitting corrupt New York. Democratic senator in the primary. It's not going to happen. So, you, you know, the fake election on June 26th in New York will nominate Gillibrand to run against the corrupt, <laughs> silent Republican uh, come November 6th, 2018, of which I will be a candidate for independent senator for New York. So we'll be talking more about that as we come along. My name is Marcus Conte. Peace.